guys, welcome back to an episode of Modern Skylock 3 with Haley and I'm picking up a little bit after we left off. We did a live stream on this last holiday on Monday and I want to thank everybody for coming out and showing me some support. And as you can see, there's a lot more room around here now. Um, so I didn't build anything, but I did do some cleanup. Let me show you guys the tour in case you haven't already seen that live stream that should have been posted earlier this morning uh, so if you had a chance to watch that you can see what I did and how I did it so all of this was bee stuff and I moved all the bee stuff over here all the way over here to the where the grassy area was uh, just kind of get it out of the way for right now I'm probably not going to use it uh, until we get to the very end and I moved our big machines over here onto this brand new platform I want to thank uh, thank you guys for giving the suggestion of actually just you know stepping it down a little bit level um, we discovered that there's no fluid in this chunk here, but this chunk here is where we have the oil. I did not move the uh, fluid tank because I think if I actually break this fluid tank, I'll lose all of that oil that's in there. So I'm just leaving it in there for right now. Uh, and I still have the pump jack here. <clears throat> I might just keep it there until I'm actually done. <clears throat> depleting this area of oil uh, over here these two chunks have a lava in them so I may actually start pumping out just some lava just because just because I can there's 820 thousand millibuckets there and six to nine millibuckets a uh, thousand millibuckets there so I've got this extra area over here so I've got I'm gonna move these machines at some point down here as well I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this area for but I will get this out the way and get it nice and clean but let's talk about what we're gonna do today so uh, as you see I've got oh I did one more thing so I've got the entire AE system here these are all the AE tools I've got this block open here because I'm just kind of monitoring the power um, apparently Apparently, I'm not producing enough power to keep like if I want to run some of these machines there's not enough to keep all the power running so we really want to get into reactors pretty soon and my dog is barking for no reason <laughs> I don't know if you heard that but yeah so I'm just kind of monitoring here we did upgrade to the dense energy cell so this does b hold back a little bit of power so it is kind of gaining power now it was down to about 700,000 before I kind of stopped running some of the machines I had over there I was running the rock crusher to try to get some more surface quartz uh, what I've kind of done here is uh, for some reason the stuff that comes out of the drawers now they shift everything through so like I had stone coming out of here and it would go into this part of the rock crusher but it would also go into the output sections so I don't know if there's a way to actually set that um, I only want certain items to go in and out I've done filters which is what I actually did here is that I'm saying that if any stone does go well I want the stone to go into here but if it ends up going in the output section I'm actually pulling out stone I've got it blacklisted here and whitelisted here to kind of go back in there uh, I don't know why it's doing that it's doing that in all the machines so um, it's giving me the output so I'm just kind of focusing on certus quartz so you should see it here I've got uh, dirty sort of course I want to come out only out of here everything else is going in these drawers because I don't want to lose those uh, items and then uh, if the dirty sort of course is up in the output I only want the uh, whitelist item of Sirtis Quartz crystals to come into here and I've got the dirty Sirtis Quartz kind of recycling back in there. I've taken the chest off away from here right now because again with these running uh, these machines <laughs> use a lot of power apparently so I just took the chest away for right now instead of trying to break stuff because I can actually just shift you know with a carry-on mod put it back as I need it but I'm just leaving that for right now. Um, I've got everything smelted so I've still got just like stacks of stone ready to go through but I don't want to use that power right now. I want to keep the power into the ME system. So having the dense energy cell this is a good buffer. I remember Wix was saying that I should have another alternative source on it. But yeah, since I've got the windmills, I could also put another generator down here. But I'm just like kind of looking here just to make sure that doesn't get too low. All right. Now, what are we doing today? It's a good question. I'm glad you guys asked that. If we hop back in our quest book, we're going to see that we are still working on the uh, Lapertronic Ore Pack. Now, Linda, she had commented, and she's right. I I guess I was kind of shortcutting because I was just basically looking at what I need to do to make the Lapertronic Ore Pack and going through that. So she says I should just go ahead and go through the quest line, which I kind of am. So if I go back to the, the Reborn Technology quest line, uh, which is down here 
it doesn't really tell me that there's something for the for that quest but i'm probably going to go through these solar panels ones um just when i get some free time because that'll be another source of power that i can potentially use maybe for some of these machines back here we'll see how much power they actually generate but what i do want to go ahead and, and make uh, in that quest line in the quest book I want to get down to the industrial centrifuge because I do need to make that we made the energy flow conduits last time I want to focus on the superconductors the superconductors they just require energy flow circuits which we made earlier uh, I'll show you the recipe for that we made that last time it's not that hard to make and I'm going to need some tungsten, tungsten ingots which we have iridium alloy plates we made last time but we can go through that again but the helium coolant cells which by themselves are not that bad we just need 10 and helium cells but the helium cells are going to require the industrial centrifuge and the recipe for the industrial centrifuge is not that hard but it does require some items from the quest book so we'll go ahead and just kind of go through these quest lines i need to make an advanced frame and um oh just the advanced frame in order to make it i'm not going to make a rolling machine because again i don't need that and and this is just me i don't see the lapatronic item here but it doesn't mean it may not it may be um one of these other quests so we're going to go ahead and make the advanced frame let's see what we need to do to make that advanced Oh, wait, the quest, the first part of the quest is requiring the advanced alloy ingot. So let's go ahead and make that. Let's see, make sure I don't already have any. I do not. Advanced. Oh, that was what I was going to show you. If you noticed in the system, we have like 17,000 gunpowder, 14,000 rotten flesh, all these unfamiliar items that I can't use. I did go ahead and hook up another interface, well, another storage bus over to our gigantic chest here so i just got this wired all the way through um, i just put the interface here on the bottom so i've got a gold interface you can if i can highlight that there is a colossal chest interface there going into the system and i set the priority level on this uh, uh, i think i set it for two let's see yeah, the priority level on this is two and i up the priority on the where, where, let me get out of here on the drawer controller to like a thousand so i think this is still being the higher priority things are going to prioritize themselves into the drawer system then into the drawer and then into the me system so hopefully that's the way it works correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> i look you know look for you guys telling me what i'm thinking is not correct okay we were making now and the advanced alloy ingots so that recipe is it's required uh the mixed metal i think we made this last time did we i can't remember it requires refined iron ingots bronze ingots yeah we made this last time i don't know why it didn't uh qualify itself because i just smelt this down in our cheap little furnace over here i cannot wait till we can get some really good furnaces so smelt that it should give me the advanced alloy and that's going to be required to make the <coughs> Not the implosion corrector. What am I making? Wait. Should it require dingling? Maybe it did dingling last time and I wasn't paying attention. Um, we're not going to make the advanced machine frame. That's what we're trying to do. Advanced machine frame requires the advanced alloy plates, carbon plates, and a basic machine frame. So I think we needed these to make the advanced. Uh, the two? Yeah. Uh, the advanced alloy plates, which is what we use to make the iridium before and maybe that's what Linda wants me to see when I go through this okay so I've made that uh, now we're going to see what we need to do let's go ahead and make the basic machine frame that's just uh, eight refined iron ingots which I should already have if you need to remember how to make the refined iron ingots you just um, smelt down an iron ingot or you can get a chicken and that produces it so I got a bunch of that from the chickens over there uh, looking back over here now we need to make a carbon plate and advanced alloy plate. So I don't have any of that right now. So let's see what we need to do to make the carbon plate. The carbon plate requires the compressor. Now this we a compressor or a pressurizer from nuclear craft. We made a compressor before, but the compressor was required to be used uh, in the other machine that I have here. Let me go ahead and get my wrench because you have to use a tech born, the reborn technology wrench to break a machine. 
So I have the chemical reactor over here. I think it's what happened. I think I had a compressor and I broke it with the pickaxe. But if I hold shift with the wrench, I can pick up these machines. So that's very important to note. All right, so let's go ahead and make another compressor. Oh, if you want the recipe for the wrench also, it's just bronze ingots and bronze nuggets. All right, so let's make a compressor. So let's go and grab that. That's gonna require the machine frame we just made, so we'll make another one of those. Uh, let's go ahead and break this down. Let's see, where do I wanna put it? I wanna put it, let's see, I've got relays going here. Let's just go ahead and set this machine. Uh, we'll just set it right here for right now. Let me grab the MV wires, and we'll get that powered up. MV, so I have another connector and some insulated wires to hook that up and I should be able to just like bam bam there we go so we get power going into that all right so how do I what do I need to compress I need to compress the carbon plates which uh, requires a carbon mesh which requires carbon fibers, which requires crushed coal. Okay, we're gonna get crushed coal from, we can either squeeze it or we can put it in an alchemy table. What, no, it's uh, another way to get crushed coal. Well, that's that crushed coal, that's coal sand. Um, wanna look at the alternatives. Coal powder, coal sand, pulverized coal. So I can put this in a grinder, a uh, crusher, uh, now, I don't have my crusher hooked up over here, actually, because that's uh, I did not power this up. I wonder if I can do that real quick. Let me get some more relays and get some power over here. Let's see. I think I made extra relays. <clears throat> Sorry, a tickle in my throat there. Uh, where's the relays? Oh, wait. MV. MV. There's extra relays there. All right. So, see, I've got these hooked up here on these posts but I should be able I don't know that's, that's going to be way too far away let's try was this the crusher yes the crusher if I do this to here oh yes way too far away but let's see if I put a relay in between it I put a relay right about here is that close enough yeah it's close enough there and then hook this up to here there, we got power in the machine. So let's go let's grab us some coal and crush that up. We'll get a stack of this going right now. Where's our coal? Where's our coal? Where's our coal? There's our coal. And we're just gonna run this through the crusher. I have the did I put the chest? Yeah, I have the chest here. So all of the oh, I already have some pulverized coal in there. Okay, so that that'll be great there. Some pulverized coal in there, and I should be I should notice. Yeah, see how the ME system's losing power now because I've got those extra machines running. I really cannot wait till we get something uh, that just generates a ton of power. All right, let's go ahead and make this. Let's see. We're trying to make the carbon mesh. Let's see, and I need. Two, three, four of these? I don't remember. Let's see. We'll get two of those. So oh, I think I need. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So each one of these requires a carbon mesh. So I need four of those. Because I need two carbon meshes to make this. Should have plenty in there now. Oh, there's plenty in there now. Yeah. So that'll crush up the rest of that coal. So we'll have that if we need it. All right. Let's go ahead and set this. Let's see, what was it? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. And it takes two of those to make. Does it have to be in a particular order? Yeah. Two carbon meshes. Two carbon meshes done. And I'm going to put that in the compressor to make the carbon plate. Okay. So let's just toss these in the compressor here. Let's see how fast this actually goes. Very slowly. <laughs> I can probably put some machine upgrades in here to make it go faster, but we'll let that do its thing while we look at the next item we need to make, which is the advanced alloy plate, which is actually just an advanced alloy and the compressor. So let's make, oh, I have two of those. All right, so we're gonna wait for those two to come through and then we'll have the advanced machine frame, which will complete that quest. Not bad at all. Okay, let's let this next one go through and we'll take a look at, because that will open up the industrial centrifuge, which is what we need to do to make the super conduit. So I'm going through the quest line for what we need and kind of understanding what's going on. Don't yell at me, Linda. I'm really trying. <laughs> all right. So while that's cooking up there, um, 
I just need a basic machine friend again so I can make the advanced that. Okay, so let's look at the recipe for the industrial centrifuge. And let's see what it's going to have us. No, no, it's the electrolyzer. Industrial centrifuge. There it is. Okay, so that requires two of the advanced machine frames, an extractor, which I thought I had. I had those machines. I think this is one of the machines that just up and disappeared because I didn't see any of my Tech Reborn uh, machines when I came back because uh, I wasn't looking for them, of course. But uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to need to make some more of these. Um, let's see. Let's make two more of those ingots while we're waiting because we're waiting for those to go through because we're going to need four of those so remember how we made that that is do 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 uh that and wait wait advanced alloy ingot how do you advance oh, come on i just made it <laughs> nope that's not what i want alloy ingot that's the Oh yeah, smelt it down here. There we go. So let's go ahead and get just you know we'll just get a few more of those because we'll probably need them anyway. Uh, let's get these smelted here, and we'll get some more carbon fibers done here. So is that carbon mesh? That's what I need it. Yeah, going to need at least two. Well, hold on, wait. I need that. So one, two, three, four. Up. Oh, good grief. Need some more carbon. I love the fast, how fast this jetpack is. I just got to get it uh, charged up because I have used it a lot this past week. Uh, but it lets me go a lot faster across the, the platform now. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. We'll just get a few more of those. And we'll go ahead and just pile those into this machine. While the alloy stuff is... Oh, I'm out of power? Really? Oh, wow. Oh, because you know what? This was running. Yeah, I've got to get a better source of power. I mean, I've got good powers from the windmill. I just don't have enough. Okay, well, that's that's not using any more power. Uh, what is using power besides the ME system? Nothing really. Oh, okay, well, it's done. <laughs> Maybe it was because it was running at the same time. All right, let's let that go ahead and go through. Uh, I should be able to go ahead and make that advanced alloy. Let's see what we're trying to make. Um... The advanced alloy block. Nope. Crap. What was the thing called? Advanced machine frame. Advanced machine frame is what they're called. M A C H A N E frame. And I think I just need, yeah, I need another machine frame, basic machine frame to make an advanced machine frame. Bam. All right. Now, I need to make another one of those. So, well, ding a ling. Why are you not ding a ling? There we go. Okay, so we got head to ding a -ling. Uh Let's go ahead and grab these from, oh, good, they're already done. <laughs> and hopefully the carbon meshes, at least two of them are done. Looks like it's smelting them down. Yeah, I got two of those done. So let's go ahead and make these two. Wow. This takes a lot of power to make these things. Let's see how our AE system is doing on power. Because again, got that dense energy cell. So it's holding up. It's still down to about 850. So that's not too bad. Um, okay. So if we look in the quest book. So we now have the industrial centrifuge, which is open. It says it's used for turning certain items into their basic components, just like every other centrifuge in this pack. Simple enough, <laughs> okay. And it uh, looks like the advanced machine frame opened up the implosion compression, freezing in a vacuum, industrial grinding, all these things, but none of them are saying anything about a lapertronic doohickey. <laughs> so it's good to go through the quest line. And unless there's another quest chapter for the reborn technology, this is really isn't, it's just telling me how to make a to the machines, which I'm kind of, you know, I can see it in any eye as I go through it. Uh, let's see if we can at least get the lapid, not the electronic, the centrifuge made. Okay, I got one advanced alloy plate. Oh my gosh, I need two of those. <laughs> okay, this just takes a lot of power to complete that. Uh, 35%. Let's go back to this centrifuge. Because this is the machine we actually do need to make. Uh, the centrifuge, yeah, extractor. Okay, so how hard is the extractor to make? That looks very easy, actually. Let's go ahead and get that made up. 
which again I thought I had made once before because I mean, we did because it was one of the quests and we made the compression we made a, you know, we made an extractor unless those were used to make the um the chemical reactor I don't remember let's go and get the extractor <laughs> all right do I have any materials to make it already just got the basic control circuit okay so let's go ahead and make a basic machine frame again and we'll get the set tree taps I need four of those one two and they don't stack this <laughs> is crazy and now it's here to make the extractor bam all right now let's see unless I put it in a chest I've cleaned out most of the chest I don't think we have it oh my gosh 39% all right we're not going to finish this quest <laughs> guys before the end of the oh wait no there's two. Oh wait we're going to finish it <laughs> see that in my inventory stop yelling at me okay uh centrifuge Okay, should we have enough to make the industrial centrifuge now? Wait. Oh, I gotta make a, one of these things again. Uh, let's make that, which means I need that. Oh, well, I need that. I got this. I know we're at the end of the episode. Just hang tight with me, guys. All right, so I'm missing these things, the advanced control circuits, which I should be able to make that. Oh, I can make that. That's even easier. All right, so now bam industrial centrifuge ding-a-ling ding-a-ling there we go ding-a-ling all right so we have the the centrifuge which we'll go ahead and power up here in a bit but right now i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode and are enjoying this series if you have any questions comments concerns tips tricks techniques or just want to say hi leave that comment down in the comment field below and i will get back with you as quickly as i can if you're new to my channel click the subscribe button click that like button and click that notification bell so you can be notified when new episodes come out if you want to hang out with me and the other squad members you can do so by becoming one of my patreons <laughs> the link to the patreon field is listed in the description field you know you can help support me in this little hobby there's a lot of different tiers with a lot of different rewards so be sure to check it out and i'll be looking forward to hearing from you if you're looking for a server to play on with your friends head on over to host havoc it's who we use for all of our multiplayer series as well as those patreon servers that i just talked about earlier uh we do have our uh, three minecraft servers that you can choose from to play on here we go we're doing good Okay, that'll power up completely. Um, a Minecraft server to choose from, so you be sure to check them out. That includes the vanilla server, which I stream from on Saturday mornings at 11 o'clock Central Time. We have the Squad Pack Farm Pack, which we stream from live as well on the weekends. And then we have the Ignatmatica 2, which is a series that I'm recording with Psychic and Sarah. So you can always check those out and have a chance to be on the server. All right, we are moving right along, guys. Linda, I'm going through the quest book. I'm looking at the camera like you can see me. I'm going through the quest book, I promise, um, on this. But, um, I mean, I would have still gotten there eventually. <laughs> hey, guys, that's all I have to say for right now. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye.